Australian TV host David Campbell quashed claims Meghan Markle lured Prince Harry in their move to the US. The Australian news host was quick to oppose claims Meghan Markle manipulated Prince Harry in the couple's decision to move to the US. Broadcaster Susie Ellman, who appeared as a guest on the Today Show, claimed Meghan was the dominant one in the relationship and was able to lure Prince Harry abroad. Today Show presenter David Campbell interrupted the claims of Ms. Ellman to highlight Prince Harry had chosen to accompany Meghan back to the US. He criticized the use of similar phrases which suggest Meghan held some form of mythical power over the actions of her husband, Prince Harry. Ms. Ellman retracted her bold language and clarified the prince had not been dragged to the US against his own will. However, she highlighted how Prince Harry was thoroughly entrenched in the royal family before Meghan's presence and now he's living in the U.S. In her analysis of the couple's transition to U.S. residency, Ms. Ellman declared it is perceived, particularly in the U.K., that he has deserted the royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made the decision to step back from royal duties in 2020. Ms. Ellman mocked the significance of Prince Harry within the royal family and declared he was only a spare anyway. The author's claim of Prince Harry as a spare presumably alludes to his diminishing claim to the throne. The prince is sixth in line to the British throne, behind his father Prince Charles, his brother Prince William and the Duke of Cambridge's three children. Prince Harry has declared his current home lies within the US as he resides in California with his wife and two young children. The discussion on Australian Network 9 News was sparked in reaction to an interview between Donald Trump and English journalist Piers Morgan. During the interview, Morgan questioned the views of Trump towards Meghan and Prince Harry and the couple's decision to reside in America. The former US president declared he was not a fan of Meghan Markle and described Prince Harry as whipped in his decision to relocate. Nine News host David Campbell rushed to condemn the hateful language used by Trump as misogynistic. After their step back from royal life, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle settled in Santa Barbara following a brief stay in Canada. Meghan Markle wanted to be the leading lady following a successful royal tour of Australia with Prince Harry, it is claimed. Following the couple's marriage in 2018, they travelled to Australia, New Zealand, Tonga, and Fiji. They took in sites including Bondi Beach, Sydney Opera House and the Invictus Games, which were being held there. Now in the Palace Papers, written by ex-Vanity Fair editor Tina Brown, it's claimed Meghan apparently hated every second of it. An ex-Palace worker claimed Meghan thought the engagements were old-fashioned and wanted to highlight her own causes. Meghan also didn't understand afterwards why nobody said well done, according to the source. Meghan decided that the monarchy likely needed her more than she needed them. Brown wrote in the book, she had starred in the equivalent of a blockbuster film and wanted her leading lady status to be reflected in lights. Just over 12 months later, Meghan and Harry said they were going to step down as senior working royals and start a new life in America. It's unknown whether the couple will return for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in June. One insider said, Harry is certainly in favor of going, so naturally plans are being put in place for him to make the trip should he want to confirm. There is the issue of security and the ongoing court case which needs to be sorted out. Previously it was a red line for Harry but there might be a resolution in the offering. Everything will hinge on that, but Harry loves seeing his grandmother and wants to spend time with her and his family.